This is what a health care crisis looks like to the American Cancer Society. People with cancer, but without insurance. Countless others with insurance, just not enough to cover something as devastating as cancer. We're making progress, but it's not enough if people don't have access to the care that could save their lives. Together, we can change that. Find out what we're doing and how you can help at cancer.org. This is the American Cancer Society. Hello, it's Glenn Beck with a special Glenn Beck podcast investigation. I'd like to bring you now a harrowing story of what could be best described as human exploitation of the worst kind. What if I were to tell you that right here in America, in certain parts of this country, there were parents who were secretly meeting under the cover of night for the sole purpose of, brace yourself, baby racing. Baby racing. That's what these despicable people call it. This horrific blood sport is, believe it or not, more popular than ever. Take a look at these hardened kids. I know, I know it's almost too difficult to even watch. First, let me, let me start here. Let me give you a little background on this horrific sport. Like gymnastics or figure skating, baby racing is a sport dominated almost completely by athletes under the age of 18. And like such sports as cockfighting or horse racing, these competitors seem almost bred specifically for baby racing. In fact, some of these competitors have been racing from almost the time that they were born. Yes, if you've never seen this before, let me warn you, it is a sight that will stay with you for the rest of your life. If you have kids in the room, please, don't let them look directly at this podcast. Just look at the pressure that these coaches are putting on their young kids. Some so young they're still in diapers, or is it that they're so freaked out by the pressure of these coaches that they're wetting themselves? You decide, damn it. It's been said that some of these coaches will do practically anything just to get these kids to win. Bribery. Many of the kids racing today are using performance enhancing substances just to get that edge that they need to win. And here's the real dirty secret about this sport. You're not gonna hear this anyplace else. Sadly, these kids will soon be washed up. The average career of a baby racer is only 15 months. 15 months for what? It's tragic. One former baby racer who's now turned whistleblower agreed to speak with me, but only on the condition that we disguise his identity. My father. Poopy pants. So sad. So sad. Poor kid. Damn it, and you never even had a chance. So, what can be done? Sadly, not a lot. Not a lot. Actually, not a single law in this country that prohibits people from raising their babies. That's where you come in. I'm asking you to go to our website right now. It's on the bottom of your screen. You'll be able to download a petition that you can email to your congressman asking him to change the rules that govern baby racing. Now, I'm not saying that baby racing should be outlawed. The petition is just a plea to make, our, to make it clear to our lawmakers that we want mandatory laws that all children who compete in baby racing be at least 18 years of age. Again, just go to the website on the screen, which is www bandbabyracing.org backslash petition backslash Glenn Beck dilda backslash baby racing is for losers backslash then just spell out the word backslash then the words spelled out spelled out tilde backslash forward slash then forward slash spelled out then the word word spelled out backslash backslash then just uh, download the petition and send it away it's just that simple well that's it for this report keep safe please Teach your kids about the dangers of baby racing. Good night, America. Hey, I'm Anderson Cooper. Check out the 360 Daily Podcast on iTunes.